The Justice Department is accusing Huawei, the Chinese tech giant, of criminal activity in the U.S. 23 charges and two indictments were unsealed yesterday in Brooklyn, New York, and Washington State. The charges include bank and wire fraud, obstruction of justice, and violating sanctions. Jan Crawford has read the indictments and has more for us. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. The charges come after more than a year-long investigation into Huawei, its affiliates, and its top financial officer. The Justice Department is alleging that the world's second biggest maker of smartphones stole trade secrets from T-Mobile and violated U.S. sanctions on Iran. Both sets of charges expose Huawei's brazen and persistent actions to exploit American companies and financial institutions. FBI Director Christopher Wray did not mince words, calling Chinese tech giant Huawei a dual threat to America's economic and national security. In an effort to build their own robot, Huawei's engineers allegedly violated confidentiality and non-disclosure agreements with T-Mobile. The indictments say Huawei employees undertook a scheme to steal T-Mobile's robotic technology named Tappy. Employees allegedly took numerous unauthorized photographs of Tappy and secretly removed a part of it from a laboratory in Washington state. Last month, Huawei's CFO Meng Wanzhou was arrested in Canada amid a U.S. extradition request. According to one of the indictments, Wanzhou misled banks about Huawei's business dealings in Iran, which led to a violation of U.S. sanctions. In September, Nora O'Donnell asked Director Ray about Huawei's growing influence as a global telecom giant. Is this enabling or allowing China to conduct espionage around the world. The telecommunications infrastructure is something that we are so dependent on in this country. Uh, and the idea of uh, letting the fox in the hen house is something that I think people need to be really, really careful about. Now, China's foreign ministry is calling the charges an unreasonable crackdown on Huawei, and the company said it did nothing wrong. The White House is insisting that the charges are not connected to trade talks here in D.C. this week between U.S. and Chinese officials. Nora? That is a very big story indeed. Jan, thank you so much.